Hi everybody, I hope you're having a great day. In this video I'm going to be covering Blue Marvel. He made his first appearance in Adam, Legend of the Blue Marvel, issue number one in November of 2008. His real name is Adam Bernard Brashear and he stands six feet four inches tall and weighs 230 pounds, having brown eyes and black hair with some gray highlights. Now he gained his powers as a result of being mutated by radiation that came from the unstable event horizon of the negative zone. This incident caused him to become one of the strongest beings in the Marvel Universe. He has a vast array of powers and abilities, and to start off with he has antimatter manipulation. He's virtually an antimatter generator and reactor. Now keep in mind that one gram of antimatter contains the same amount of energy as the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. Blue Marvel can release concussion beams, concussive force bolts, stun bolts, optic blasts, energy constructs, energy enhanced punches, energy pulses, and energy shields. Another power of Blue Marvel is that he can attain antimatter stabilization. He himself states that he is a, and I quote, stable antimatter reactor, end quote. But what he appears to do is actually channel exotic particles generated by a stable event horizon. This is interesting because as we all know, antimatter is extremely unstable. And whenever it comes into contact with normal matter, it results in the release of 100% pure explosive energy. But because of this very unique ability, he can actually prevent this occurrence from happening. In addition to being able to make these matter antimatter constructs and to enable the coexistence of matter and antimatter beings, Blue Marvel's strength is also known to be incalculable. His vast superhuman strength is easily in the same league as Sentry, Hulk, and Thor. And it's noted that he has the potential to be the most powerful hero on Earth, period. He's been shown easily lifting the American warship Enterprise that weighs over 93,000 tons, but he's even capable of far greater feats of strength. This is shown when he, with minimal effort, moved a meteor that was the size of Arkansas. Even the Watcher has stated that Blue Marvel could have split the moon in two with one punch. Prince Namor has said that only the Hulk and Thor have hit him as hard. And Blue Marvel has been shown to fight entire groups like the Avengers and even go one on one with Sentry where he knocked them unconscious and into orbit in one single punch. In this particular battle, they pretty much fought to a standstill. And this is after Blue Marvel had been weakened by fighting the Avengers, Wonder Man, Miss Marvel, Ares and Iron Man all at the same time. Blue Marvel has also engaged in and subdued King Hyperion. Now keep in mind that King Hyperion is an alternate version of Hyperion and he's far more powerful than any other incarnations of the character. This King Hyperion was able to kill alternate versions of Magneto, the Hulk, Wolverine, Thor, as well as being able to engage two versions of himself at the same time. Now when you put all this into perspective, you realize how powerful Blue Marvel is. The upper limits of his strength are really truly unknown, but to keep it simple, it likely equals or exceeds the likes of Enraged Hulk and Sentry. Now Blue Marvel is also nigh invulnerable, similar to Sentry, and he has no true physical weaknesses. He can easily take huge impact forces, high caliber weapons, exposure to temperature and pressure extremes. At one point he's shown to take a nuclear detonation at point blank range and have no injuries. He also has a type of healing factor because despite his near invulnerability, it is possible in the slightest way to injure him. But if he's injured, he could quickly heal and it's no issue at all for him. In addition to this, he has enhanced reflexes, agility and stamina, and he's self-sustaining. He can live in harsh environments without any air, food or water, and he's able to live in the deepest parts of the ocean and without any assistance in deep space. To go on, he has superhuman speed and senses and he can fly by manipulating the gravitons around him and magnetic fields, and he can control the absolute molecular movement of his body. Blue Marvel also exhibits energy manipulation, molecular manipulation, and light generation, being able to create and direct his own light. He ages at a far slower rate than normal humans, and despite being very old, he still seems at his physical prime. And in addition to all of this, although it may seem like a side note, he is known as having a genius level intellect, having a PhD in theoretical physics and a bachelor's of science degree in electrical engineering from Cornell. Now, just a small piece of his backstory is that Adam Brashear was a young man who was serving his country in the Marines. Now, when he attained and discovered his superpowers, he made a secret identity and started to protect his country as the Blue Marvel. For years and years, he served in this fashion and he was one of the most popular heroes of his time. Yet his secret was that he was actually an African-American, a fact that the government knew, but the general population didn't. Because of the uneasiness of this time period, the government actually took a precaution and planted a spy for him to date, who he eventually ended up marrying. 
But despite his years after serving as the Blue Marvel, his career ended when he faced the Anti-Man. And during this battle, his mask was damaged and that revealed his ethnicity and that outraged some of the population. After agreeing to give up his role as the Blue Marvel, he was presented with the Presidential Medal of Freedom and then he retreated to the moon where he threw his medal away. It was there that he met and came across Uatu the Watcher. And while he was discussing his problems with the Watcher, he actually encountered an alien invasion force when he discovered a scout. Adam easily and quickly beats the entire invasion force, saving the Earth. This fact would go unrecognized because no one knew about it but himself, the Watcher, and any possible surviving aliens. More years went by without Adam so much as putting on his cape. He was living a normal life and raising a family and working after attaining his PhD. But before you know it, the Anti-Man returned. This time was a little different though. Because of his bitter history with the government, he refused to help at first. It got even worse when his wife told him about her role in the plot to keep him under control, as well as her being a spy. She explained to him that she reluctantly took the job in the first place and that she later truly fell in love with him. Irregardless, Adam feels shocked by his wife's revelation and he once more leaves to go to the moon. There he has a conversation with the Watcher, who helps remind him why he became a hero in the first place. It's at that point that Adam leaves to go talk with Tony Stark on the helicarrier. And after he talks with the Mighty Avengers, he then thinks about it and decides to resume his identity as the Blue Marvel. This time he answered Tony's call to defeat the resurgence of Anti-Man. Now due to his powers and abilities and his influence on the Marvel Universe, for my 1 to 10 rating, I barely even have to say this. He's definitely a 10, which is a legendary rating. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you next time. Be sure to like and subscribe to the new Sage.